Hello, Scam Squad. Today we're going to learn to calculate percents. Percents are not only used on tests, but also in sports, shopping, and finances. In order to find a percent, we're going to have to create a fraction. Let's look at an example to find the percent score on a test. Let's imagine you answered seven questions correctly out of 10. We could represent this with the fraction seven over 10. Notice that the numerator is the questions correct and the denominator is the total questions. In order to find the percent, we will follow three simple steps. Step one is to divide the numerator by the denominator. So seven divided by 10 equals 0 0.7. The second step is to multiply the quotient by 100. 0 0.7 times 100 equals 70. And the final step is to add a percent sign. So 7 over 10 is equal to 70%. It is just that simple. We can use these three steps to find any percent. Here they are again, one more time. Step one is to divide the numerator by the denominator. Step two is to multiply the quotient by 100. And step three is to add a percent sign. Now let's look at a real world example. I'm gonna take 10 shots on the putting green and I'm gonna record the percent after every shot. The numerator will be the shots made and the denominator will be the total shots. Let's check it out. So as you can see, there are many places in the real world where we can use percents, whether it's to determine how well you did on a test or how well you put it on the green. I challenge you to try to find somewhere in your life where you can calculate some percents. Goodbye.